Hey there everybody, it's Linnea for Miss Ink Stamps. I'm going to be using some of the new layering stencils from the latest release, along with some bright inks and some Glitz Glitter Gel and just making some very simple cards. So you can see here that I have the classic frame stencil and I just love the stencil. I think it's great for so many different kinds of cards. And then I also have the cheetah portrait and the zebra portrait layering stencils. Each of these have three pieces the animal face itself and then there's also a masking layer as well as a layer that you can use to add some quick color. I'm going to start here with the classic frame stencil and I'm just using some light brown ink something that's going to add a little bit of texture but not take away from the animals. I thought that would be a great focal point. I love that these stencils from Miss Ink Stamps have little etchings so that you can perfectly center an A2 sized card on the stencil. So I started with that classic frame and now I have the cheetah portrait stencil and I have the piece that's going to allow me to add some little blobs of colors, very abstract and I really love it. I grabbed some fingertip blender brushes and I'm using Distress Oxide inks. But the great thing about this is that you can use whatever inks you have. I just wanted to go with a rainbow of bright colored inks. I'm using my fingertip blending brushes just so that I don't have to do any masking. You'll see on the zebra portrait that I did do a bit of masking just because the lines are closer together. But these were far enough apart that it was easy to go in and just add some blobs of color. Check this out. I love how abstract this looks and you'll see that it looks even cooler when I add the final layer on top. So I'm doing the same thing. I started with the classic frame stencil and now I have the zebra portrait stencils. And remember these are three piece layering sets. I'm using some masking tape here just to mask off various portions and using the same colors of Distress Oxide inks going in with my fingertip blending brushes and just adding some rainbow color. You can go over with all one color if you want to make that even quicker, but I thought having blobs of multicolored bright inks would be really fun. I'm just going to finish this up and then I'm going to place the top layer over my cards. This is going to be the actual portrait of the zebra and the cheetah. This is what you'll recognize as the actual animal. And I have some black glitz glitter gel. I'm going to give that a stir and then add this over the top. And here you can see that beautiful cheetah portrait. I'm going to set that to the side and then go in with the zebra, adding that black glitz glitter gel over the top. You could add regular ink. You can add a medium and foil this. Anything that you want to do to add something special to the portrait. Then I'll go ahead and just remove these stencils and set them aside to dry for about 15 minutes. It didn't take that long because the lines are um, thin lines so I love how quickly these dried and just adding that little bit of black glitz glitter gel really added something fun. I stamped some sentiments from the Jungle Ruin stamp set that's another new stamp set and just fussy cut out and bubble cut around them and I have two cards all done. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial thanks so much for watching I'll see you soon bye